everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV and welcome to the Newcastle United Academy. We're here behind the scenes, have a little tour before we speak to Becky Langley and a couple of the players ahead of this weekend's big game at St James's Park. Get yourself through this, don't be lad. Come on, after you, son. After you. After you, lad. We'll keep this rolling. Right then, so let's have a little look around at the academy. Who's going to be lingering? You know what I mean? There's been some talent through here, through the years. You see the Newcastle badge on the wall, some quotes. There's your exit there, above there. Did you make the most of the day? Loads of stuff going on for the players. So yeah, under 18s and under 21s. Meetings in there and stuff. We'll not open the door. Confidential, don't want to be giving things away for other people, you know. As you come in, you've got a nice big trophy cabinet here. Nice big one. Successful. You can see there's loads of trophies going on there. I like this touch here. 2006, playing against some of the big boys. And as you can see, we zoom out. See loads of the trophies that the club's collected over the years. And on this wall here, we've got the Academy products that have shone throughout the years. Obviously recently, still in the start 11, Sean Longstaff, Carol for England, Elliot Anderson, now becoming a bit of a regular in the team. Matty Longstaff, the Matten Slayer, showing himself. Tavania, Rangers captain, scored a banger on the weekend in the old film derby and the likes of Paul Dummett, who's still here as well. Along this corridor, change room and physiotherapy. Loads going on there where the lasses are getting ready for training at night ahead of Sunday's big game. We'll bring you back along here. Another trophy cabinet at the end. More success. A nice little quote on the wall from the Brazilian legend Pelé to motivate the youngsters as they come through the training ground. Let you read that one. And then you've got the academy director in there. More classrooms in and about here. Further things down there for them to learn and grow. And as we said, look at this on the bottom here. Premier League Academy winners, 17 18, 16 17. At the football tournament. Some nice trophies out. This one here. Look him breaking through the ball. I do like that one. And as we head through here, is where you have the, the canteen. And then onto the uh, onto the training pitch. Onto the training pitch where the lasses are currently getting warmed up now. Only a few days to go before the big game at St James's Park. I'll let you walk in there, Billy, and you'll just have a look scene and you'll see the players training at the back. We're joined here by Newcastle is Georgia Gibson. Georgia, how we're feeling then we're a few days away from the big return to St James's Park. Yeah, really excited. Uh, we know what it's all about now. We've done it before, we've done it twice. Um, so now it's just about preparing like we would for any other game and it's been really excited for Sunday. Is that what you're trying to do? Obviously, the disappointment of the whole game, the last second equaliser, are you trying to just forget about that and move on? Yeah, it was disappointing. Uh, we wanted to go on and win the rest of our games um, to really like stamp our foot on the league. Uh, but look, it is what it is. It's a point gained. Um, and four more wins will win us a league with a few goals. <laughs> I entertain the fans again this weekend's the, the big thing isn't it we've seen it last time a couple of goals we've seen it the first time loads of goals long range goals is that something you work on in training or does any preparations change when it comes from changing to Kingston Park to St James Park uh, no not really we know it's a bigger pitch so we take that into account um, but we we want to play consistently in the same way um, and no matter what game or who, whoever we're playing against we might adapt it slightly but um, obviously we know of St James's last time that myself and Sean have got long range efforts and you've got a good chance of them going in, um, but the goal's a goal so we'll just try our best to get as many as we can on Sunday. We know that um, you know the new owners have heavily invested in the, in the women's game, Amanda's very passionate about it, have you, have you heard from her this week at all or will you be meeting her before the game, will you be speaking to the players at all? Um, I'm not 100% sure what the plans are, I'm sure we'll definitely see her at some point. Uh, she's definitely at the game on Sunday, which is fantastic. Um, their support has been phenomenal. My dad's tweeting about getting 30,000 there. It would be great if we can really push for that figure as well. Uh, Amanda coming in the changing room last time, it gave us that kind of extra boost and showed us that reason why we need to go on and try and win this league and get into tier three. Um, so they've been fantastic, yeah. How was the uh, feeling heading into this week, then big Sunday at St James Park? Oh, absolutely. Uh, everyone's absolutely buzzing, kind of. The, the positivity in camp going into a game and towards St James's Park's always, always a positive one. Everyone's looking forward to it and everyone's excited to see what the crowd's going to be and, and what we'll get from the game. We know obviously Murdad spoke about trying to break 30 
30,000. I'm not sure, I haven't been able to speak to the club yet about ticket sales, but do you think we'll, do you think we'll be able to get that? Well, I think maybe I'd put that out on Twitter, kind of sprung hundreds and thousands of quote, uh, tweets, likes, replies, I'm bringing my kids, I'm bringing so-and-so, so hopefully we can get that 30,000. Obviously, we know last time in the FA Cup it was 28,000, so you talk about that, you're 2,000 away, so hopefully uh, it inspired a few more people to come. We'll get the 30,000 on Sunday. What does it feel like? Because obviously loads of kids dream about it, women, lads, growing up. What does it feel like walking out in the stadiums, nearly 30,000 people and the flags are there and everything? Oh, absolutely, kind of. A lot of us are, are, are fans of the club and have grown up supporting the club and we know what, what the fans are like at Newcastle and what the atmosphere is like at St James's Park. So to walk out in front of uh, war flags and local heroes, just you can't even put it into words, it's unbelievable. Do you do anything differently in the build-up to a game when it's at St James instead of Kingston Park? No, no, I try to keep everything the same, kind of keep my pre-game routine um, with my beans on toast for my breakfast the same, mm -hmm. leave the house at the same time as what I usually would and just kind of keep everything the same as uh, routine as what I usually would so that we're going into the game prepared. Mm. And obviously we know that the objective is for promotion, we were devastated with a last second equaliser the other day, but win the last four games, get a few goals, it's still in our hands, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, still a lot to play for, we've got four games, uh, won three points out of all of, those all of those games, that's always our aim. Um, I want to score as many goals as I can, especially in front of a big crowd at St James's Park. If, with them all cheering us on, I'm sure they'll all want a slice of the, uh, of the, of the celebration action, so I'm sure they'll all be pushing to score a few goals. My Becky Langley here, head coach, who's just fresh off the training pitch there, putting the cones out in the rain. Doesn't stop for anyone, the weather's not great. Hopefully it's better on the weekend later. I hope so, yeah, so thanks for telling everyone that, because my <laughs> hair's soaking wet now, so <laughs> I've got an excuse. Do you prepare differently this week? with it being at St James Park, obviously you've been there a couple of times, does it differ to say the game this weekend was at Kingston Park? I think, you know, we try to keep our process the same for each game. Um, I think there's that element of obviously excitement for the players and staff that, you know, the game is at St James's, but our ultimate aim above everything else is that we want to win this league, so preparations have to be spot on, they have to be familiar for the players and, you know, we're not trying anything new, we want to make sure that our training sessions and everything are very focused and geared to making sure we win the game and you know we've got to get our goal difference up now which we're aware of and we just yeah same process and we're kicking on but extra excitement I guess. New week the new game because obviously yeah. the disappointment on Sunday conceding that late goal is that gone now gone out of the head just focus on this weekend? Um, yeah it has to be you've just got to review it and, and move on from it um, you know we'd be lying if we said that it didn't hurt a lot it did it was you know heartbreaking when the penalty was given in the 97th minute but I think you've got to let that hurt hurt for a little bit and we've done that and digested it over the last two days and we'll just be using that now to fuel us even more to go out and kick on and, and win this league. Are you just excited this time round as you were the first time round to get back out to St James Park see hopefully another big attendance flags and everything? Yeah absolutely I think we never take an opportunity like this for granted it's you know much appreciated the opportunity to play on an amazing pitch with an amazing fan base and yeah we're just as excited as the first time well we are but I think you know that first time just seeing how many people piled in it'll never never kind of lose that feeling how special that was but yeah we're, we're just as buzzing we're excited and we want to make sure that we're inspiring that next generation that's coming to watch. Absolutely and finally last question will you hear from Amanda or the, or the owners heading into this week we know they'll most likely be there again on Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. It's Amanda's birthday today, so we hope she has an amazing day and um, enjoys that with her family. But yeah, they'll definitely be coming on Sunday to support the women's team. And, you know, they've been incredibly supportive from, you know, minute one of this season and last season to, to now. And, you know, they, they're encouraging. They want us to do well. They want us to really kick on. And um, yeah, they were absolutely buzzing with the results against Durham and Sestria at home at Kingston Park. And yeah, they're, they're on this journey with us and they'll probably feel, you know, the same the same frustration we felt on Sunday, but we, we're still, it's still in our hands. We've just got to keep our focus. Right then, people, that'll do it. We'll let the lasses crack on in the background there. They are training, getting ready for Sunday's clash at Bradford City. Remember, big game, important win for the promotion push for the lasses. Four games left. They need to win all those games. They need to get the goal difference up. If they do that, They'll just about get promoted. So come along on Sunday, support the lasses, cheer them on, hopefully smash that 30,000 tenants record. We'll be there. Stay tuned for plenty more content. Subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourself.